Okay, so the most important thing that I understand, because I went through that when I was uh, before I became a student at Art Center, is that we have a feeling of uh, of being lost. Okay, because you, the school says, okay, send us a, an entry portfolio. We will look at it and we will tell you whether uh, you will be admitted or not. And a lot of us say, yeah, okay, all right, I know how to do, but what the hell is an entry portfolio? Because a lot of us never been exposed to a design school, which is very particular, very specific. It's a world aside, you know. It's not just like any other field or any other discipline to study in university. So we don't know. And then we go back and we say, well, portfolio is a sort of a lots of drawing stuff that I have to present. Okay, I do sketches because I'm passionate about cars or products or a graphic design, whatever, okay. And uh, uh, okay, and then I put those together and then I go with my drawings and, and I go for this interview and see if I can be selected. But it is not that simple because sometimes what happens is that if you put in a very confusionary way all those drawings without making already a selection, without preparing okay, the quality of what we have, because of course the entry portfolio, it's what we have. We, are, we did not receive yet uh, a single lesson okay, or lecture about design. So... It is exactly what we are able to produce at that particular time of our life. But still, you want to make sure that you have a control in terms of the quality and the content of that, of that entry portfolio. So a lot of people tell me, but should I do stuff with computer? Like, for example, leads the fallen. That's the way it was written in the comment. Or should I do some freehand stuff? And should I show models? Because I do little models of my, uh, my futuristic uh, cars design. A lot of people say that. You know, a lot of people from India, for example, show me sometimes pictures of, of models that, of course, they are not well done. But that shows the passion. You know, that, that's an important thing that is showing that the person, that guy or that girl, it's really with the head, the body, the heart into it. So that's good. That's a positive thing. But at the same time, if you put those uh, pictures just like that, okay, in, with, with everything else, like in a big mixed salad, it's a little bit, uh, uh, how can I say, it, it, you run the risk, you run the risk that uh, on the other side, what you want to communicate will not be understood correctly. So even a simple entry portfolio might become, might become a serious problem. And you know, when you are not accepted, you cannot uh, try again after one week. You have to wait a certain type of time, maybe uh, a semester or a trimester, Okay, and then try again. Now, there are some schools, I know stories, real stories, there are some schools in Europe, for example, that say that if you try three times and you are not accepted three times in a row, they will never take you again into consideration. So basically, if you fail once, twice, or three times, in some schools I think it's twice, you cannot try again. This means that you have a door that will be closed forever within the universities and colleges in design that are available in your country or, or abroad. So what do we do? First of all, let's not forget that every time that we organize something for ourselves in communicating something, we must give us ourselves priorities in our communication, because the objective, the first objective is to be simple, easy, okay, 
in, communica in communicating what we want to communicate. Okay, sorry for the game of words. And this is for the best results in terms of being understood by the person on the other side that will analyze and check what you have to offer, okay? So in order to do that, we cannot imagine today, especially today, because you don't have to forget today. Today you are in a society with a lots of, of communicating uh, technology, okay? That gives you the opportunity to go and check on Google, to go and check on Bing, go and check on Facebook pages, on Instagram, and who knows what else you can find on websites, okay? Already a lot of information. And today you have the emails that, in my time, we did not have. I had to write letters. I remember the first letter I wrote when I, when I, I tried to obtain uh, information from Mart Center, it took one month to obtain, to get the answer. So I had to wait 30 days. Today you send an email, and if you are lucky, a few hours later, you have already your information, your answer back. You see the difference? This is the reason why also us and the schools, of course, they become a little bit more, how can I say, demanding, okay, in how you, as a passionate young uh, uh, dreamer to become a designer, don't to become a design student, how much you are motivated to work your ass off <laughs> and find the right uh, information and demonstrate, show to them, or to us, that you are someone that is really targeted and really is working for its mission to accomplish, which means to be accepted to, from a design school. So when we put all those uh, considerations together, you cannot do like sometimes you do, I speak general, okay? But two days ago, I got the same uh, this message on you on Facebook. Excuse me, do you know how many numbers of, uh, how many sketches should I bring for my entry portfolio for Art Center? And I answered back, excuse me, why don't you contact the school? They will tell you. But the answer was, oh, what an intelligent uh, answer, thank you. <laughs> but, but sorry. The, the fact that we can communicate does not mean that you think that Luciano is here to make the job at your place. If you really think so, you didn't understand anything. So, of course, this guy is being blocked because I don't want to waste my time with people like that. What I want to waste, uh, what I want to use my time, okay, is with people that show the motivation. Are you motivated? really motivated because to go to a certain school means sometimes most of the cases change life spend money a lot of stuff okay also your private life it's not gonna be like going to any other university your private life will be reduced in favor to a school life which becomes very strong and very hard sometimes because of competition uh, and all the other stuff that I already explained in other videos. So, the thing that you motivate yourself means also that you are motivated, that you motivate yourself. I expect that you go and find the right uh, information. Like, for example, you are always, you are here with me now, listening to me, but that's nice because I will give you some information and then I imagine that after today, you have a better, how can I say, idea or about how you can organize yourself to prepare your entry portfolio and go to a design school. The, the first thing, as I said, is the priority. So the communication must be simple. The second thing, of course, you have to contact the school. You have to contact the school. You have to do it in a way that you have to write or call them up or visit them, somehow you have to get in contact with the school. It's useless you pass by me. I do not work for the school. I'm not sponsored by the school. Okay, too bad. That would be nice. <laughs> anyway, 
So you have to do as I did. I wrote a letter. And I got an answer with a nice catalog after 30 days, 40 years ago. Today, you can write an email. You can send already a few samples of your sketches. Hey, do you think that this stuff is good enough? Can you give me more information? And then you work on your project. This means also another thing that you show a certain discipline, a responsibility, okay, in uh, work, on, excuse me, not in, but on working on your project, about your project, project of being admitted. And this is very good because design schools, when they admit people for uh, uh, transportation design, product design, or other stuff, whatever, they're not looking only at your drawings. And if you have a certain type of talent that they can amplify with the tools that the school will give you, they also think about your maturity. How is this guy or this girl? He's like a little, uh, I don't know, spoiled kid that thinks that he's coming here and because he's paying, his parents or her parents are paying, everything will be like a piece of cake and we are in California or in Detroit and we have the lake, lake next to us for the weekends or the, the beach in California for the weekends. It's not like that, not at all. It's like a, it's a real tough adventure very passionate adventure, okay, because you will be uh, developing, okay, pursuing your dream of your life. But that implies engagement. So they will analyze your sketches. They will try to understand from your letter, which is always a letter, but from a, a real interview, they will try to understand in your head how you are. And then we, they will tell you, because that's what happened to me uh, when I went to Art Center. I know that this commission exists, uh, committee still existing, and I am sure that also in CCS, it's very similar. John might give us some uh, information about it. There are people that, in a way, are trying to understand you like a psychologist, you know? to understand if you are solid, you can hold the stress, you can... Uh, you are able to cope with uh, periods that maybe are negative you know, because there are the down, the ups and down, you know, like every, like in life. <laughs> there will be difficulties and how this person is going to react, you know, is this going to scream and yell <laughs> in, the, in the universe because he's upset or he understands that uh, the person understands that he has to work harder in order to reach the right uh, the right point, okay, the quality point, uh, deserve a good a good note, you know, stuff like, let's read John. Yes, there is the entrance portfolio group that evaluates the entry portfolio. So, hey guys, read what John is writing, okay? Thank you, John. So, he's confirming, and I'm very glad about that, because I know that the Italian design schools, I, I made that committee when I was there, and I know they still have it, okay? You just a number. I believe the letter gives more profound. Uh, whatever, whether you make an email on a or a letter or a phone call, it does make difference. The most important thing that you contact, okay? And then the letter, yes, I agree. The letter is something more personal. And so if you write it well, it gives the opportunity to transfer your emotions through the letter, through what you write down, and people will feel you a little bit, even if there is a big distance between you and the person in the school that is reading that, that letter. Okay, so this is, how can I say, the frame, okay? The framework, you know? The framework of how you should be prepared, okay? To work on your entry portfolio. So there are some stuff. It's like make, it's just like making a project. It's not just to make the car, the model, or the hot sketches, okay? Or the ideation. It's a, lo a lot of other stuff. You have a planning, okay? You have dates to respect. You have activities, you know? You have a lot of other little things. And all those stuff, 
You have to do it very seriously, not just uh, because they are not the sketch, who cares? Okay. So, now, let's talk about the content. A lot of people ask me, you know, also today on some of those beautiful comments that I, I'm reading on my screen in front of me, <clears throat> computers, models, the first important thing is your talent. The entry portfolio, it's used to understand if you want to become a car designer or you are just someone that uh, makes uh, sketches and thinks that because it's making sketches, he or her has the talent to be admitted in a design school. They are two different things. As a school, the way I lived the experience in Art Center, and the way I lived the experience when I was a chairman of the Transportation Design Department at the Instituto Europeo de Design in Torino, the thing was very simple. I'm going to take only people that have the talent and dedication to be car designers, not those that, that showed that they want to be illustrators. I don't care about illustrators. Okay, they should go into another discipline, illustration class, illustration discipline, illustration design, fine art, whatever. Okay, I will admit, I accept only those portfolios in which I can read that this person has something special. I know that he's there. It's probably not really evident yet, okay, because it's very raw. Of course, it's normal. You have zero lecture and class in design so you you bring what you have to offer just like i, I did at, at that time but at the same time when i see it when i see those drawings i see that there is something special behind those drawings and if i am serious school i want that person because i want to put together a new young class of special people that they will work after in competition, in good competition. Let's see what John has to write. We can teach a monkey how to render, but we can teach a monkey how to think and be creative. That's excellent. Because it's the same thing I'm trying to say. Okay? So, when you have drawings, you want to understand already by yourself all the drawings that you have, which one are the drawings that show a better design and creative approach? I don't want to say design. It's a, a big, it's a big word at the moment when you are on entry portfolio. Let's say about creativity, okay? Let's talk about just about that. So when you see those drawings, which one are my drawings that show that I'm a creative person? That I have a on the long run, I could have a beautiful, you know, uh, how can I say, a beautiful journey that I can show progress, that the school can invest on me. I can invest on myself. My parents can invest on myself. That's the, the most important thing. And when you find those drawings, comparing to the others that you made, you choose those right away. And then if you need some other drawing just to make a little bit of number, okay, that's okay. But the most important thing is the content. So they, the commission, the committee will be looking at that content. And what they will try to say and compare with the other portfolio that they receive, and they will say, this one is more creative than the other one. And because they had 20, 25 maxi people in that class, okay? And they receive probably 200 portfolios every three months, just to say, they must make a selection. So you will be part of a selection, okay? The question is, how can I make sure that I will be selected? And my answer to that is, well, you can hope that you can be selected 
If you start with a good organization, the way you present yourself with your uh, <laughs> with your uh, treasure, okay, in your hand, which is your entry portfolio proposal, and the content of that treasure. And there, of course, people say, okay, that, okay, I understand that, great. But I have lots of drawings. How can I select? How can I do? I am alone. My parents don't understand anything about uh, design or architecture uh, or so. My friends are all engineering, lawyers, they're all studying different stuff. So nobody has that sensibility. How can I do to make by myself the right choices? I understand that can become also another critical, a critical aspect. Yes, see that, 45 people so far, so good. I'm very happy. Welcome to everybody. 47, great. So basically, what you want to do is, first of all, are you really motivated that you know what you want? I'm sure everybody will answer me. Of course, yes. Great, then you make the first judgment. Take that responsibility. Be there, look at your stuff. Have the courage to say, this is bullshit, I'll take it off. Even if, uh, even if two months ago, I love that sketch. Compare your work. Be honest with yourself. Also because, to be honest, we all know. Sometimes it's very, very hard. And I went through that, so I know. It's very hard to say, shit, that, that drawing I really like it. I want to keep it. But then you do other stuff that is better. Or you, do, you have other drawings that are more pertinent about the... The, the briefing of a project you gave yourself, or uh, how can I say, about mobility, okay, in general, or about the other topics in general. And then you must have the courage to say, well, that drawing will be only for myself. And the reason is always the same. Don't forget that in every portfolio, every type of portfolio, you will be remembered for the worst sketch that you put in that portfolio. Don't forget that. So, if you have something that your mom, your grandmother said, this is so cute, what a nice drawing, and you agree, and you think that, that one, because your family said it's perfect, ask yourself twice. Are they right? <laughs> Are we right to say that that's the best sketch, or probably it's the worst one compared to others? So, you want to make sure that you give a, a professional, okay, cut to the decisions you take of your portfolio, your entry portfolio, your selection. And if you have this approach, mentally, you are working as a professional. So, of course, you will choose better drawings in that way. You will make a more honest selection. Instead, if you select because you are in love with your sketches, I am sure that you will put some good stuff and some bad stuff. And when you see an entry portfolio mixed between good and bad stuff, who is on the other side, he looks at the work and says, I'm not sure. He is doing well, but look all those sketches. Oh, come on, what, what was he was was he smoking something? So you never you do, you are you don't know, and if you don't know, you know that that spot in that class, you could reserve it for someone else that deserves more. So that's what you have to do. You gotta be very selective with yourself, be demanding with yourself, because you want to make sure that you get uh, an honest. How can I say an honest? encourages decision in choosing what you think is the best of the best that you have done. And you select 25, okay? You have lots of sketches. You make a selection of the selections of the selection until you remain with 25. 25 sketches. After we will talk about what type of sketches, okay? But let's still keep on talking generally, in a general way. 
So that those 25 and then lower, you have all the others. Now put everything on the floor. Put a part of the 25 and bring and see all the others. Turn on the lights and compare. Take your time. Don't go fast. Take your time. Be, as I said, demanding. Now look at look at the quality of the sketch, the quality of perspective, the quality of creativity. I'm sure that some of you make a lot of restylings and stuff like that. Okay, it's fine. But between restylings that look like yesterday restyling and another one that looks like a futuristic restyling, which one do you pick? You understand what, I, what I'm trying to, to, to express, to communicate to you. So you have to use, use your brain, <laughs> okay? Check it out. Make your selection. If you think that between the 25 sketches, there is one that is so-so, that you will find that one or two that still you're not so sure, take them out. Have the courage. Take them out. See if down there you find other sketches that you did not select that are better than those two. And if they are better than those two, take those two, those new two sketches, and make them in. Put them in. And so you progress in your selection in a way that you can make a sort of a catalog, okay, of the best of the best that you have done, you have produced. And after you did that, there's another thing you can do. I read just a comment and, ciao, Ross, how you doing? Can you uh, creativity, like clever package, user transportation solution, interesting forms? Yeah, uh, re yes, Ross, you can do that. When you do the selection, okay, let's do it uh, always talking a little bit generally, okay? When you do th that selection, of course, creativity is not just the restyling, the, the new light or a new side fender or a new shape. Sometimes creativity is also, especially often, is also about uh, proportions. No, the proportion which is the, the first thing in car design. So are you proposing with your sketches, even if you had, I repeat, zero lessons in car design, but are you able already to propose a new proportions that are interesting to see, that can uh, open up the opportunity for a real new project? If you think so, then put them in. Maybe it's something you can redo. Because the more you sketch, the better you get, even if you don't have teachers. That's all obvious, because there is also the technical aspect of, of sketching, okay? Or rendering. So, you will have something in, in your hand that will give you the, 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 the ability to, to, to sketch something. Okay, so if you think that you did a sketch that had some interesting stuff in it, but the sketch is so-so, but you love that uh, little concept that you see into that sketch, redo that sketch. Redo it. Bring that sketch quality to a higher level. It's the same thing when we are in school, or when we are at work, and we see a great potential on, on a sketch. At the same time, we know that that sketch is not very presentable because other people, our colleagues do better. Well, do we redo that sketch because we want to talk about the, the content of that sketch. Okay, so this is, how can I say, an introduction, a general introduction to give you the most important things to take care when you start organizing with all your sketches on the floor, right? But now that we have all the sketches on the floor, we have to decide, but how are those sketches? Because when you are lost in choosing or preparing your portfolio, and I understand that, it's also because you don't know, should I put just a, uh, wait, I will show you, I will show you. Should I put just sketches done with my pencil? Should I put sketches done with the markers? Should I put sketches where I, I, I did a art painting, so with brush, gouache and stuff, basically. You don't know which is the you know the latitude you know and of the techniques that you can uh, include in your uh, entry portfolio, 
And I know that everybody wants to impress. And so they sometimes put a lot of stuff that is a lot of color. But be careful, because there there is another thing that is not working for you. I, it's okay to overlay the paper and copy to make it clean or it... Uh, no, you can overlay, but the most important thing is freehand. I will come to what you have to, to present. When you present a sketch that has a colors, okay, sometimes I see a lot of those uh, passing, okay, and you show colors, let's talk about colors that are not really very nice, and the color combination that you chose, it's not so nice. Once again, on the other side, people question themselves and they say, but how is it possible that the guy that is passionate in design does not have that sensibility in putting some colors together? Uh, a light blue with a dark blue, or with a magenta, or with a red. How can it be that this guy is using brown and green to sketch his car? And he's putting yellow, you know, raw yellow for reflection. You know, so that's why I say, always say, use simple colors, especially the beginning. You don't need to show that you are a perfect designer that uses the same colors palette than professional designers. You don't need that. And also don't forget that the simplest, the better in car design, especially when we sketch. Also for professionals. So you should just use a, a solid, a, a kind of a neutral palette, color palette, a little bit like the way I do when I do my demo, okay? With the, the blue or the black or the red uh, line work, some shading, and then just add a little bit of warm and cool light, which will, will give you a little bit of yellow orange, okay? Very light and some violet or magenta or, or blue color to give a little bit of that light, cold light on one side, uh, contrasting the other side of, of your object. That's a very simple way, using grayscale, uh, marker grayscale, if you want to use color. And then you, go, you are safe. Nobody can tell you that you put, uh, you organized, you used a very bad... Uh, color combination. And you have to be smart. And why that? Because you will learn in school that. You don't want to anticipate. What do you want to demonstrate if you anticipate? That you're going to be already the best, teacher, the best uh, student of the class? That's, that's fake. That's not true. It's never, never it's going to be. Because you don't know the other ones that will be in the, in the class with you. And believe me, sometimes we have students that, that, that they are so good, they're even better than teachers. <laughs> Not at the same level, but almost in terms of uh, talent, sensibility. You know, they are raw, but when they start learning the skills, learning the tools, how to use the tools, they just blossom. And then it's incredible. So I would say keep calm with your work. Don't be too uh, flesh and lights, okay? Try to be wise. Play it with colors in a very, in a very safe way so that you are not disturbing in negative or you are not uh, opening the door for criticism, negative criticism. I read a comment. I want to apply for master in transportation design. I have different projects. But I don't have proper car project. Will university jury consider my portfolio? Also related with transportation design. If you want to do master in car design, you must have some cars. That's ob obvious. Uh, unless if you proposing future scenarios of architecture, go to architecture. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay. Or if you have trains, okay, that's nice. But you must have some cars too. If you have, uh, I don't know, boats, that's nice, but you must have some cars too, okay? Okay, some questions I will, I will pick them, I will uh, answer to the questions later on. John, if you are still uh, there, would you like to add 
some things to what I said until now. Because what I want to do now, I will take some of the very raw sketches I do or I did in the past, and I want to show you to talk about quality sketch that are really done very simply just with a pen or with a, a marker and to give you an idea of raw sketches that you could put together in terms of quality and level to get to get uh, the, admi the, the, the entry portfolio. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here, this is something you never saw. You see all this? This is a collection of old sketches of mine. Sketches that uh, I rare, uh, basically I don't, um, I move a little bit like that, that I don't uh, show. So I will uh, search for some stuff, okay? Okay, uh, okay, so if you look at a sketch like that, okay, this is a working sketch, just for work. If you do sketches like that, with some notes and stuff, basic drawing skills are also critical. Yeah. I probably look at two things, judgment and execution. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Judgment, what we were talking about, judgment. So this is a very quick sketch that is so showing a section, some functions, some ideas. So this is not a, uh, a presentation sketch. This is a, a head sketch that I, you, I used to do to explain certain things to myself first and then to other people, okay? Then we can um, wait if I find... Uh, you see, conceptual sketches for back part of a car, so that you can talk about the cover of the wheel, how it's going to be done and stuff like that. So those are sketches. I call them, uh, 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 French people call them uh, 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 pense bête, which means, uh, how can I translate that in English? really um, quick head sketches without thinking too much, okay? And then this one, it's a, a little bit more detail of the same object. And to me, if I see a sketch like this from someone that is a, for an entry portfolio, I'll be very happy because it shows a lot of things. No, not because I did it, but because it shows that you're precise that you're thinking about design, you're thinking about sections, you are, you have a, a, the beginning of shading. I can see the form, you see? I can see a little explanation here because this is an example that I want to design, not that I want to make an illustration. It's an example that I want to design and that's what we're looking for. Okay, so wait that uh, in this jungle, Always about interior. Look at this. Okay, you can do sketches just like that. I imagine some of you are doing sketches like that. As long as the perspective more or less is good, the proportions are correct. And then you have some new design elements, okay? Put them in. So work around this, make, make three or four of them. Okay, I want to show you some exteriors. For example, look, quick sketching about center console and see how it works, you know, stuff like that. Well, this is another one, look. And of course, this is an old design. Eh? Don't look at the design, the creativity, because this is something that was done uh, for more than 10 years ago, 12 years ago, I think. 2005 or 2006, 2003. So this is old stuff. But anyway, you see the organization. 
your ability to take your idea judgment and the execution is how you solve the problem yeah did you choose the right solution and how did you execute to solve the design problem great you know quick sketches to understand volumes and what the car has to do in the back in the in the back area but now we go i'm going to search for some uh, more sexy stuff. Just give me a few minutes. Those are some of the sketch for the kangoo <laughs> that I made at the very beginning. For example, this sketch here. This one, in my opinion, it will be already too much for you, for an entry portfolio. This is a quick marker sketch that I've done uh, 20 years ago. Very quick. But you can see that uh, there are the basic rules that uh, I do when we work together, when we make the tutorials together. They are still there. And then you see some, you have some new design at the, of that time, 20 years ago. Sketches like this are nice. You see, for an entry portfolio, this stuff is great. Because I can see that you are making of the same car several front design proposals. So you're thinking like a car designer. Simple stuff. Well, my latest stuff I cannot show. What a question. You think I'm going to bring you stuff? Or <laughs> yesterday or a few months ago, my oh, by law, <laughs> no possible. Okay, so this one was a sketch that was into in my portfolio. Yeah, yeah, thanks, John. This one was in my portfolio uh, more than 20 years ago. This is a cabin, I almost inside view of a, a bus with one person sitting in the center. You see? Just pencil. With the, the seat that is, uh, how can I say, integrated with the back, uh, back part of the, of the cabin. Let me see if I have other stuff. You see? Okay, this is already a lot of work, but you can imagine to do something like that. Look, like this one, and this for entry portfolio, it's perfect. You see, just pencil. Look. Oops, sorry. Look, the most important thing is that you have uh, the, the most important elements, they are there. Good perspective, you see? presentation very simple this would be great for uh, entry portfolio this type of quality all pencil yes uh, look at the difference this is a, I, this is the project in the art center so this is the quality in school after two years. After two years, I learned how to do this. There is a, this is a picture, so there is a, some reflections. I'm sorry for that. <clears throat> Let me find some other stuff. For example, I show you. I, I will take some stuff for you. You will like it. Oops. I guess I have to do it this way. Wait. <laughs> it's not so easy here. I'm trying to get a sketch, but everything else will fall, so I'm going to do it differently. Okay. I have to, I have to show you I 
I want to search for a Okay, so I'll show you this. You ready? I'll do, wait, I'll do this way. Okay, so those are, basically those are uh, uh, wheels, okay? In aluminum, done with pen. Now look at the details. Now you can do that. You have a design, you can do that. Look, I used of course some uh, tools to give some really nice lines to some stuff. And uh, I did this when I was in Fiat. But you see, students or entry portfolio can be done like that. But so, for example, do a set of wheels. Imagine a new, here we have the, the cable, you see? Uh, that then became a sort of fashion. And now I show you the other, the other version, which was done with marker, okay? So you can, you can see, look, look how simple is this one. This one is very simple, very, very simple. And then you see some stuff that's a little bit more complicated because I just added a few extra color. But this one has really no color. It's just a little bit of gray. Then you have this one. You see, you can make uh, some stuff like that. For an entry portfolio, you can do a set, uh, you can do a set of wheels, you know? Why not? Have fun. And then, for example, I can show you also another thing here. For example, for example, you could do, you know, let me see here. You see this one? Look how simple. Those are just dashboards. Okay, I done this in 97, I think. 97, yeah. And look at the other one down there. Those are stuff that you can do. Because that's for entry portfolio, you can do some really light line work like that. Okay. And then I had a, yeah, I wanted to show you this one. Look. Can you see? So here you see some of my work that are not car design. I was trying to do a, a watch, okay? But look how the sketch has been done. If you, for entry portfolio, you are able to do that, that would be great. People are interested in this type of stuff. Look. Different type of perspective. You see? Look. Using chalk. Or this one up here, like a, a bus or a minivan, you see? So already in four, on four pages, you can see that there are several stuff, you know, like those ones, for example. Look, they're not complicated. Those are just quick ideas. You see, few details. And the interesting thing here is the focal point, the contrast, the proportions, the idea. Look at here, all the detail in there for that roof. You see? So until now, I did not show you anything of Photoshop. Do you understand what I, what I mean? Thank you for the lovely. <laughs> and I want to show you now my Photoshop. The first Photoshop I ever done in my life. It was done in 93. Okay, 93. You ready? 
It was done with a Quantel uh, for a paint box. I think that John knows what I'm talking about. You used by Ford in the early 90s. And I don't remember anymore, anymore the, the company. Quantel. The company was Quantel, I think. There you go. That was my freehand, freehand Photoshop done on the first tablet with the digital pen. And I was sketching on this plastic table. And I was looking at a big screen, which was a full, full uh, scale screen in the presentation room. And we were, we were learning with my colleagues. And I used to do this. Of course, the wheels are done with Photoshop, so you know that they are perfect, the, the circles, but most of the stuff are freehand. Now, look at, look at closely. Most of the stuff are freehand. You see? Now, if I did not know how to sketch freehand, how do you think I could do this? And this was one of my start with Photoshop. Okay, look. So another sketch, very nice, that I want to show you. It's also this one that I've done for Fiat when I was working in Fiat. Look, the surfboard is the inspiration for the top of that dashboard. Top of the dashboard and the dashboard. You see? Quick sketches, a little bit of chalk, pen, and a little bit of marker, black marker. Okay, so, as you saw, I did not show you any Photoshop. I showed you every stuff which was done freehand. And uh, I believe I could have showed you Photoshop, like this one. You see, this is a very old project I done for Romania almost 20 years ago. This is a design company that was working with me. And this is the final Photoshop of what we did, which is the Dacia, Dacia Solenza. This went into production exactly like that. But this Photoshop, I'm sorry, eh? this is very cold. Bobby, what's the fun here? Sorry. It's more like a, like a picture, but a, a picture that, that shows me some stuff, but he's not. Uh... And then I can show you another stuff that I've done for students when I was teaching at the art center. And I have done this for the students during a, a demo in class at art center Europe. You see? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so you can see better. This was done on butcher paper. You know, the paper we use for, uh, the paper that we use uh, uh, for the bread, <laughs> to wrap the bread, butcher paper, which is very warm paper, very nice, I love it. With some uh, marker, okay, pencil, a little bit of white gouache, and some chalk. You see the details? Look, details. I'm sorry for all those reflections. So you can see. Okay, this is a uh, color stuff. I had a lot of, uh, I had a lot of uh, fun in doing that stuff, of course. Okay. But, sorry, don't worry. There's something that went down, but that's no big deal. But, and then I can show you, what can I show you? The Kansung technique when I was in school. This is done on Kansung paper. Okay, but this is, was already because I learned the technique in school. So this was after, you know? Like this, when I was, this is, was my internship. Fleetwood Enterprise Corporation in Riverside. California, and we're doing all this sort of stuff. I had fun. I know that's not a real car, but it's fine. I had my internship. I was so happy. I was four months with them. 
and they gave me all the tools to sketch and do stuff and I worked even on a motorhome clay, full clay model. You can imagine to get up there. Okay, so now that we saw all this, okay, then I have lots of other stuff that I can show you, but I will show you this other stuff another day. But I think, and I think that I believe that we can, uh, can uh, complete our um, today design talk about the entry portfolio saying that with those examples, please go and check the video again and again so that you get an idea. You know how you can jungle between your early sketches or something with a little bit more color, but I would say that for an entry portfolio, no Photoshop. I, or personally, I really don't care. It makes it, it makes, it would make me mad because Photoshop, it's a way you want to show the people that you are ready to do whatever right away. And if you don't really have that strong talent on Photoshop, people on the other side will be laughing at you. And you don't want that to happen. Also, do sketching of car design regularly. I want to share. No, 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 no uses canceling paper anymore. No, canceling is something that is not used anymore. That was just, um, I, I made that example. Just as an example. Yeah, that was a painting that I made <laughs> a few years ago, Siddharth. She's uh, over there. <laughs> She's uh, there. It's not the only hair, hair, you know. Here there is another one up here. There is a mouth there. You see? Done with pencil. Okay, so. I hope that you guys feel a little bit better after this design talk. Okay? If, please, I invite you during this week or maybe other times to check again this video, to remember what we said at the beginning of the video, how you prepare yourself in terms of management of yourself, to prepare your entry portfolio for admission in design school. Then see the examples I showed you that even if are stuff that I've done at the beginning of my working experience, it, the message that I give you is that uh, you have a freehand stuff, for sure a lot without color and some with colors. And I give you an example how you can uh, judge already by yourself the stuff you have and what is really needed to make a good entry portfolio, a convincing entry portfolio to get admitted, okay? We are going getting close to Christmas, okay? So just in case you want to make a beautiful Christmas present for yourself, ask somebody to buy you one of my eBooks, okay? <laughs> On lulu.com I will write it here so maybe you will go and check it out okay for the Christmas uh, present you search for Luciano Bove and then you will have my page with a few ebooks about sketching tutorials my experience how I started there are a few things that are interesting eventually interesting for you to read. Okay? Thank you very much. John, thank you very much. I appreciate all, always, I always appreciate your, uh, your presence with us. Thank you. And if you think this video could be useful for the students that you have, why not? Then in that case, I say hello to my friends from CCS. Okay. Ciao, everybody. Ciao. Bye-bye. And uh, what are we going to do next uh, uh, Monday? Next Monday, we will sketch again, a new tutorial. I will send, of course, I will prepare a trailer. And don't worry, you will see from the Instagram profile and the Facebook page, the trailer. So you will be, uh, you will know what we're going to be doing next week. Ciao. Bye bye.